All right, so today's lesson, 12.8, on congruent and similar solids. The first thing that I want you to see from theorem 12.1 is that if solids are similar, their, proportion, their corresponding parts are proportional. So if we know the similarity ratio or the scale factor, we can also find the ratio of the areas and the ratio of the volumes. We've discussed this before. To find the ratio of the areas, we would take the similarity ratio or the scale factor, A to B, and square it, A squared over B squared. And we do the same thing with the ratio of the volumes. Those would become A cubed over B cubed. Um, we know that solids are similar if their corresponding parts are proportional. So we would compare maybe in a cone the radius of the small cone to the radius of the large, and then the height of the small cone to the height of the large. Okay? If the scale factor of similar figures equals 1, then we know the shapes are actually congruent. When the scale factor equals 1, the shapes are congruent. All right, let's look at example one. We're going to determine whether the pair of solids is similar, congruent, or neither. The first thing that we're going to do is compare proportional, compare corresponding parts. So we're going to start with our base edges of the small and the base edge of the large. I see that the square roots of each cross off, so I have a scale factor of two to five. Now, if these are proportional, or if these are corresponding, these are similar, then all of the scale factors will be the same. So let's look at the height. I have the square root of 7 over 5 halves times the square root of 7. Those root 7s cross off, and I'm left with 1 over 5 halves. Well, 1 over 5 halves is the same thing as, think about it, 1 times 2 over 5 and that equals two-fifths. Remember, we keep it, change it, flip it, because we don't typically divide fractions. All right, the last one would be the side lengths, or the lateral edges. I have two times the square root of three of the small shape, and five times the square root of three of the larger shape. Again, those roots cross off, and I have a scale factor of two-fifths. So, we can tell since all three corresponding parts have the same scale factor, we know that these shapes are similar, and the scale factor is 2 over 5. Let's look at example 2 and the cones. The radius of cone 1 is 6, and the radius of cone 2 is also 6. So that means that these actually have a scale factor of 1. Their heights have a ratio of 15 to 16, which does not equal 1. So these are neither similar or congruent. The corresponding parts are not proportional. All right, two similar cones have a radii of 9 and 12 inches. So their similarity ratio is 3 to 4 for their scale factor, 3 to 4. What is the ratio of the volumes? Well, that would be A cubed over B cubed, which equals 3 cubed over 4 cubed. 3 cubed is 27, and 4 cubed is 64. 
Example number four. The softball spheres are similar. We know that because spheres are similar. Find the radius of the smaller softball if the radius of the larger is about 1.9 cubic inches. So let's see. I know the formula for volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's set up a proportion comparing the larger sphere to the smaller sphere. Remember, we're trying to find the radius of the smaller. So 9.15 pi over 4.06 pi. The first thing I'm going to do is cross off my pi's. I'm going to set that equal to 4 thirds. Remember, I've crossed off the pi's. I just want to set that equal to 4 thirds r cubed. I'm doing this so I can simplify and figure out what the value of my radius is. So in order to get rid of that fraction 4 thirds, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 4. I'm going to do the same thing with the numerator and the denominator. So 9.15 times 3 divided by 4 is 6.8625. So that equals r cubed. Now let's look, and that's for the large. Now let's look at the small one. 4.06 times 3 divided by 4 is 3.045 and that equals r cubed for the small sphere. So to figure out the radius I just need to take the cubed root of both. I know that we already know the radius to this larger sphere. I'm just showing you how this works. So in my calculator, I'm going to find the cubed root of 6.8625. So the cubed root of 6.8625 equals 1.9 inches. And we already knew that. We already knew that the radius of the larger sphere was 1.9 inches. Now let's take the cubed root of 3.045. When we do that, we find out that the radius of the smaller sphere is 1.45 inches. All right, here's our last example. The containers below are similar cylinders. We need to find the height of the smaller cylinder. So I'm going to set up their volumes, the volume of the small compared to the volume of the large. So that's going to be 80 pi over 270 pi. And then I'm going to simplify. I know that I can cross off the pi units. And I can also cross off the zeros. So I really have 8 over 27. And this is volume, so that equals A cubed over B cubed. Now, if I wanted to find the A to B ratio, I would take the cubed root to get A and B. Remember, these are equations, so whatever I do on one side, I must do on the other. So I'm also going to take the cubed root of 8 and the cube root of 27. Doing that, I come up with 2 thirds. So the scale factor is 2 to 3. Now again, I'm going to use the scale factor of 2 to 3 and set up a proportion to find h, h over 6. Cross product, 3h equals 12. Divide both sides by 3, and I find out that h equals 4 inches. So the, air, or the height of the smaller cylinder is 4 inches. And that's it.